Holy f It's happening. Your great, 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 great grandfather worked and toiled in the fields for his whole life so that you could be here in this moment. The history of all humanity has led to the debasement of fiat currencies, the creation of Bitcoin, and now our beloved altcoins, our beloved shitcoinery is about to fly. And you, good mams and sirs, can take the red pill, can break free financially from this horrific matrix which has enslaved you, and it's all about to happen literally right the f now. My fellow Chads and Chadettes, it's time to become the Sigma you were born to be. It's time to break free because right now, Bitcoin is about to violate its all-time high. It's about to explode. We've been screaming about this for 18 months now that this is about to happen and the moment is finally here. It's like seeing a unicorn and a leprechaun make out. This stuff never happens. This is very rare. And you can just sneak in and grab that little pot of gold from the edge of the rainbow. It's yours. Reach out and grab it. Like, honestly, this is so big. This never happens. We are here at the beginning of Bitcoin breaking out at the end of the halving year. This is how it's happened three times in the past. And let's be real. We do not know how many more times this is going to happen. But Bitcoin is set to absolutely fly here at least to 90K, potentially up to 150K, maybe even beyond. But you're here right now before the mania. And I'm going to show you a bunch of data that shows why this is not only such an opportune moment, but an incomprehensibly big moment. Moment. So if you guys are excited, destroy that like button, absolutely obliterate, unlike, like, re-like, unlike, unlike, like. I don't know, just make sure that you like it in the end. And I actually have some pretty cool stuff I'm gonna show you, some stuff I'm gonna be doing. I'm going way harder over the next few months. You haven't seen anything yet. So let's jump into this because we're about to make history here in crypto land and the opportunities, the stakes have never been higher. Okay, so remember I told you it's time for the big show. That was on October 19th. We see that Bitcoin whales started accumulating at a pace they've never accumulated. This was really the turning point, but obviously, we've been screaming that anything below 60k Bitcoin, just ship it all in, ship it all in. That was that range, that shakeout range that had everyone going crazy. And I'll be honest, I never thought it would last this long because I didn't realize the cycle hadn't even started yet. This was just the pre-cycle shakeout, which means we have much, much higher to go. And I never do this. I actually don't do this because it's such a foolish thing to say. Oh, we'll never see this level again. But I felt it so deep in my soul yesterday that I tweeted this. It's time to say goodbye to 69K Bitcoin forever. This week, we begin our path to Valhalla for what it's worth. I will miss 69,420. And I will remember our time here forever until 42069 when we memeth again. And I want to be clear here. We spent a long time at 69K. We went back and forth and back back and forth and back and forth so much. It almost seemed as though 69K would be forever the price of Bitcoin, which is of course fitting. It's a beautiful number. But the reality is that it's time to say goodbye. I felt it. And we've just broken out of one of the longest, most insane chop consolidations that Bitcoin has ever experienced in its history. I mean, just look at this. Look at this. I have this uh, cup and handle so you can see this, but there's just nothing on the chart that looks like this. Look at this area that we spent all this time in. Look how big this was. Look how absolutely insane insane and maddening this was. You can't find another area where we really did anything like this. It's simply historic stuff. That's what we've just seen is a historic level of consolidation. And when you look at it on the macro, you can see that there's a massive cup and handle stretching back literally three years, three full years. This is how far this cup and handle extends. And you can see that we finally broken through. This is not even a question. We had the lower highs and lower lows going all the way back. We were absolutely screaming down here that, look, that's it. It's time to ship everything in. YOLO, this is the chance to make it or break it. And then we started the higher highs and higher lows. We started screaming every time we got a higher high and a higher low. And now, of course, we've broken through the diagonal resistance and we are testing the final, final boss, which is the prior all-time high of 73 and change. But as you can see, we've already touched it. We've already touched it. And so whether or not we do like a little one of these or whatever, just know the next move is going to be violently, violently higher. Because if this is a cup and handle and Remember, I'm not a trader like that. But the charts would say that once we break this, we should see a move up, you know, almost as big as the cup itself. That would point to well over $100,000. And I'm telling you right now that if that happens, we're going to see an altcoin mania the likes that we've never seen. And I'm going to show you some data that's going to blow your mind right now. First of all, isn't this just ironic? Right before Bitcoin goes on its biggest runs, you see Google Trends in Bitcoin drop to almost zero. You drop to the lowest time in four years. You see this happen exactly in the middle of October 2020. Look what happened next. 6x out of Bitcoin. It went from 10k all the way up to 69k and you know, almost 11x. Sorry, sorry. Almost 7x. My, my bad. I'm tripping. 
but we see it once again, right as the max opportunity is there. Literally one of the best times in history to be buying coins and nobody's paying attention. That's just for some reason the way it works around here in crypto land, which is people tune out at the best times because it just gets a little boring. I don't know why. I have no idea why, but that's just the natural order of things. And we've seen once again, Google Trends going to zero, zero has been an indicator that things are about to heat up bigly. Like I said, I've been trying to save as many of you as I can over the last 18 months here. Since March of 2023, I've been screaming bull run, bull run, bull run. Never flip-flopped, never changed my perspective. If you appreciate that, smash that like button, make sure to subscribe and share this content because we are giving you the consistency that everyone needs to stay in the market, to be excited when things look crazy, when they look like they could be unstable and the actual clarity of mind to have an exit plan so that when things get crazy, you'll be way ahead, many steps ahead of the retail mania that is coming in next. How did I know this is coming? Well, I've seen the movie before. Imagine if you've gone and you've literally seen a movie before you know what's happening next and that's how it feels now this is my third full cycle i feel like i've just seen all of these points in time before and it feels comfy when people get very fudded out i get very excited because i know i can see the signs i can read the tea leaves here and it's the same with other ogs it's not just me but i'm telling you guys this has been obvious for months and months literally years now that we are in the next cycle and what happens next is the most fun part the part where fast gains come and you need to have a very clear plan here if you want to crush it. So first of all, if you're new here, this is my channel, Elio Trades. Go ahead and subscribe. You can say here, we didn't deviate from the bullish trajectory. We literally have been making bullish videos this entire time telling you this is your final chance, final chance. This is it. You know, like my message to you, stay in the game. Buy now or stay poor. Bull market begins here. Crypto is insanely cheap. Just banging the drum that this is the time to be involved. And I'll start actually doing the opposite once the market gets overheated. I'll be banging the drum that it's time to start taking taking money off the table. And people will actually hate that content, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because hopefully I can help the most amount of people do the best. That's the goal of this channel. And that's always been what's gotten me to the next phase. And actually, I'm gonna be starting a very special group here at Elio Trades Crypto. I'll talk about that in the next segment of this, something I haven't done in over four years, but it's a perfect time to start doing it. Now, here's something I wanna show you. This is my channel analytics. Now, what's crazy here is I want you to look here at the subscribers. Here are the subscribers on this channel. And as you can see here, the subscriber growth this entire year has been almost the equivalent of like mid 2020 or all throughout the bear market, AKA there hasn't been any subscriber growth, which means the people have yet to arrive. And this is as the Bitcoin chart looks like this, as many altcoins are busting up towards their prior all time highs, literally printing gains of 20X, 50X, 100X and more. Obviously that's only if you're in the right altcoins, which we try our best to communicate what those might be here on the channel. Obviously we're not gonna get 100% of them right, but if you get a few hundred X's, they really offset a lot of L's. We're about to get knee deep into the woods just a second here, because there's a lot to cover today. Now, what could be causing this moment to actually be the explosive pump? Well, I have a sneaking suspicion that there's a bit of front running on the election, that there's definitely been some insecurities, some investor unease in deploying large amounts of capital in the run up to an election. Because you have two candidates that are very different, especially as it pertains to crypto and blockchain. We know for sure that the Biden administration has not been friendly. Although you have some alternating rhetoric from Kamala lately, it's very unclear how that administration will engage with crypto. Whereas, of course, on the other side, you have Donnie literally YOLOing and creating his own altcoins, NFTs. He clearly gets it and he's surrounded himself with crypto people. So it sort of feels like one side is a massive green flag for crypto and the other side is we don't really know. Again, I think both sides spend a lot of money. Bitcoin goes up and the industry does well regardless. But certainly when it comes to like altcoins and innovators here in the United States, that will look potentially very different. So if you ask me what we've seen from early voting and other things, you're seeing the betting markets having Trump here at almost 70%, which is pretty insane. As you can see, they were tied all of just a few weeks ago, and now the just odds have split wide open. I'm not an election expert, but it could be that some people are starting to front run the results of this election, not waiting for the final bell here saying, hey, look, there's enough confidence here. It's time to start betting on a Trump win. That very well might be the case. I don't know, but that would be one reason why we might have started to see the breakout around now. Although it could just be that this is how it goes. At the end of the halving year, around the end of October, we start seeing absolute magic. Remember, we told you up 
October was coming. So many people didn't have faith. And if you didn't have faith in October, well, you have missed out on one of the absolute most insane months to be in this market. And I thought this is crazy because right now, based on user adoption, cryptocurrency is just like the internet in 1998. Do you remember the stock market bubble, the dot-com bubble of 2000, of the end of the 90s? I feel like that's what we're literally about to see. We're about to see an explosive amount of investment. And of course, I also believe that we will see a deflation of that bubble. And so it's important to have your eyes wide open that this is going to be a massive run up, a massive chance to make absolutely life changing amounts of wealth. But you need to have an exit plan. You absolutely must be preparing for the downside because I believe that we will start seeing talk of a super cycle. We will start seeing talk of there being no bear markets. And that's when you should start to be very, very afraid because I personally believe we will absolutely see another bear market. And it's just a matter of understanding and preparing preparing for that. But let's get down to the absolute most important message of today. You need to nail this into your head. There are three types of traders in the market today. There's the big traders, the professional traders. They're trading leverage long Bitcoin, Ethereum, huge high market cap coins, and they're trading on Bybit. They're trading on Binance. They're leveraged short, long. They're constantly trading and entering and exiting positions. These are people who are professional traders. I call them the sex traders, C-E-X, centralized exchange traders. That is not my game. That is not a game I've ever tried to play. It's something you have to be fully dedicated. And to be honest, it just doesn't move me as much. It's just a real traders thing. And bless all the traders out there. Go see Crown. He's a brilliant at that. It's just not my game. Whenever I've tried to do it, I just I lose money. I've never really done it. I don't really have an interest in it. You should do the things you're interested in. You should always try to attack the games you're very interested in, because otherwise you can't get great at something if you're not interested. Now, the second type of trader is what we've seen now, the new retail trader. That is someone who's constantly buying every new meme coin. They're in the trenches. They're buying things that are fresh off the presses, hoping to buy a lotto ticket that could become the next Pepe, the next Popcat, Mog, whatever you want to say. They're essentially buying new meme coins, trying to risk it all, small amounts of money, hundreds or maybe a few thousand bucks, trying to turn that into hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars. This is your get rich quick lottery ticket buyer. And that is a huge segment of the population right now. So that's type two, right? You have your fully pro, super high cap, super major trader. And then you have your super low cap, like let's be real, degen as f early token buyer. Now in the middle, this is where I believe the most money will be reliably made. This is your mid cap gem finder. Someone who's looking for coins that have clear upside, that are going to outperform everything, and yet they're not brand new. They're not too big. They're not too small. This is the Goldilocks just right gem finder type of attitude. And this is my game. This is the game that I like to play because I feel like if you're really on the pulse, you can identify these outperformers. You can actually have evidence of them performing at a certain level, and then you can size in and by significant amounts that will allow you to ride the rest of their journey, as opposed to really just throwing pennies in the pond, hoping for something to come back. And I think the data shows most people will lose that with the centralized exchange leverage trading. To me, those gems in the middle are where you make all the money. And that's how you can easily ride these cycles and make 10 to 50, sometimes 100x off of these mid caps. And you can buy with a significant higher degree of confidence. That is my belief on how to play the market. But there's actually going to become a fourth type of investor here in the not too distant future. Now to outline this, I'll bring up Polygon. As you can see, Polygon was pretty much throughout the 2019 to 2020 bear market. This thing ranged between one and five cents, just nothing doing, really nothing doing, but it was one of the most active projects in the space. And then if you extend this a little bit out, you see, look, all of a sudden it breaks out and goes on a pretty much a 220x. Actually, its all-time high was 292. So you, you ended up with a 300x here out of Polygon. And so what you don't see here is that most people were saying Polygon was dead here. And mind you, Bitcoin broke its all-time highs on 1220 of last uh, cycle. So you had from here, Polygon pretty much didn't go on its really major run until you were looking at maybe two months later. And then all of a sudden, boom, it goes on this absolutely massive, massive run. So you need to understand that as Bitcoin rockets to new highs, it takes a minute. Most people pile into Bitcoin, they ride it as far as they can ride it. And then at one point, Bitcoin starts to run out of steam, starts to pull back, starts to get boring again, and money flows into the altcoins like a biblical flood. And that's when you get what we call the tech investor, which to me is one of the biggest pools of capital out there. These are the NASDAQ investors, the people who got rich off Apple, off Google, off NVIDIA. They're going to flood into crypto and they're going to be looking for utility coins that have convincing utilities that they want to invest into like long-term protocols. And that is going to dramatically change the current dynamic of the market. At least that's what's happened in the past. 
So understanding that these are the four buckets, right? And I believe that the bucket of tech investor when combined with the gem finder is the perfect synergy here because those gems that you find with amazing utilities in the right narratives will get flooded with capital from those tech investors, those NASDAQ types that come into this industry and they're gonna pump up those coins like you've never seen before. That's why we saw Solana go from 100 million up to what, 69 billion or something crazy like that last cycle. And it'll happen again for the protocol that are doing their thing and absolutely crushing it in crypto land. But right now, that's not the case. Right now, we live in a meme coin super cycle where people have almost fully abandoned the concept of utility, the concept of value in the tech, and they've gone all in on community. Now, I actually encourage you, I did a live stream with someone named Murad. You may or may not have heard of him, but he's essentially become the face of meme coins over the last month or two. And we did a video here where Bacon, Miles, and I kind of asked him a lot of questions. And this guy essentially has astronomical price targets for meme coins, the kind that'll make your eyes water. And like I said, I think that he makes really interesting, compelling arguments for meme coins that go beyond just, hey, it's a funny meme. He argues stuff about, you know, hormonal imbalances and birth rates and depression and loneliness and all these things and how they converge upon meme coins. Now, personally, I don't agree with Murad's thesis. I think it's going to be impossible for a lot of these memes to go to $100 billion or whatever he's predicting. And if it's the case that memes are going there, I think it's going to be very, very bad for our industry if that's pretty much the star player, the star main dish of crypto, I think it's very bearish. And I think it's going to do so much damage to cryptocurrency. But that said, it's a great video. I thank Murad for coming on, even if we disagree. I definitely tried to pepper him, though there's some things I wanted to ask him that I only remembered after watching it. Go check this out. But it really inspired me to take an even more aggressive route on some of the things that I'm doing here in the space. And so actually what I'm going to be doing, and I tweeted this and it absolutely blew up. It got 7.1 thousand likes, which is way more than my average tweet. You know, my average tweet is getting, you know, one to maybe 3,000 likes, not the high end. Uh, maybe 2,000 likes is a good performing tweet. This got 7.1 thousand likes and almost 3,000 comments. So what I said is this is the fabled golden bull run to retire your bloodline. If you want to join my inner circle as we ride to Valhalla, smash that like and comment below. I'm assembling a team. And I want to say to you, if you're not on Twitter, go to this post and comment under it because I'm going to be calling through and seeing the people that are super passionate. And they want to be in a chat room with me navigating this industry. And mostly they agree with my view that protocol level tech needs to have the same excitement, needs to have the same passion as the non-utility coins. Because I do believe that this passion is what drives people to be excited about projects. But if passion does not have a long-term goal, a long-term benefit to the crypto ecosystem, more users, more product adoption, more technology adoption, I think that that is not going to serve us in the long run. That's my personal belief. Who knows? I could be wrong. Maybe meme coins are really just what the world needs. I personally don't subscribe to that thesis, though they are fun to trade. I don't believe that that is the end-all be-all. I wouldn't be doing this in crypto. I wouldn't be here for eight years if I thought it was all about memes and just spinning the wheel and potentially making some gains. No, no, no. I'm here because I think crypto is power to the edges. It is a great disruptor, a bulwark against centralization, and it's an opportunity for our generation to take back a significant amount of power. That is why I'm in crypto. It moves me on a much deeper level than just the gains. If it was just the gains, I probably would have left a long time ago. So if you want to be a part of this, I'm going to be going through these responses one by one and DMing the people back who are the most passionate, who really want to be on the front lines, working with me, collaborating with me to do something awesome. And so yes, comment there on that tweet if you want to be a part of that. Because once again, we saw meme coins absolutely explode at the nearest sign of bullishness in the market. And to be honest, there's only one real coin in gaming that's having the same passion as the memes. And you know, you could count Floki, that's not a gaming coin, that's a meme coin, right? So we're seeing now that we have to make utility great again. Make utility amazing, fun, infectious. We have to bring back that passion to the utility sector. And that's what my mission is now in this run, is to fight fire with fire. And I have a plan to do that. And I'm excited to do that because I'm looking around the industry and I don't see anybody doing that. Look at how crazy this is. One game off the grid, which by the way, is the most insane game. I'm sure you've heard a ton about it. This is the most beautiful new battle royale that's hit the gaming sector. And it's a crypto game. It's a Web3 game. We've been literally babbling about it for over a year now. It's insane. I've played it a ton. It's addictive. It's fresh. It's original. It's crass. It's inappropriate. It makes you want to come back again and again. It's literally a perfect game. Now they need to do some optimizations because it was hard to play on lower quality devices. But look at this. On their GunZ blockchain, they reached almost as many daily transactions as the base blockchain by Coinbase. That's one video game. 
right? So you're seeing here that the scale of gaming is going to very quickly eclipse anything that's come before it in crypto land. But there is a bit of a problem, and this is the problem. A lot of the gaming tokens are not designed as fairly and as well as the meme coins. And so if we want to take back the passion, not only does gaming, which I believe is the consumer app of crypto, not only does the industry have to get amazing content out there, not only do we have to build the best stuff that captivates Web2, but the tokenomics and the community need to be engineered in a fair way. So I've been banging the drum, talking to every founder behind the scenes, trying to get them to see the light that you need to put the community first. And that's what I've always done. That's always been my operating philosophy is just if I can do something for the community, then that's the right decision. And that's why Superverse has become the center of crypto gaming, because it's all about the community. It's all about you. And there's not just one thing or one strategy. It's not just because I'm a YouTuber. It's because everything around the project has been designed. Every decision goes through the process and the filter of what is best for you, the community. And unfortunately, we don't see that being the commonly held decision-making process out there, but I'm going to help fix that because I believe we can make utility the center focus if we focus on the community of those utility projects being the stars. And that's my next mission. If you agree with that, if you're excited for that, smash that like button. It's all about transparency and it's about giving the community the best opportunities, period. So as we approach these new all-time highs, I think that if you didn't have your high conviction bucket, your Coinbase stocks, your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, your Solana, again, Solana to me is the main coin of the cycle, the piggy bank of the cycle. Then this is kind of fast approaching the last chance you'll really want to do that because once Bitcoin starts making its move up towards 100K, you're gonna wanna be in smaller altcoins, the types of altcoins that can run in 20, 50X because they're gonna be all over the place and that's where the capital will want to travel. And so again, three types of traders. And it's okay if you're part all three. Like if you like to leverage trade with a small part of your portfolio, like you can do that. I personally have my safe holdings that are about 50% or more of my portfolio at any time. I have those as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Coinbase stock. Again, personally, I think it's okay to add micro strategy in that because it's essentially Bitcoin, but with a little more juice. And then I have my categories, my AI, my gaming, my memes. Obviously, you know where I stand with gaming. You know what I think is the best ever coin in gaming. And right now I'm hoping that Superverse is actually able to convince other gaming projects that they've been doing it wrong. That's kind of my hope is that it's a lead by example thing by showing that this is what the community needs and fairness is the absolute most important factor. That is what's going to bring the excitement back to the sector. And there are some new founders that are really taking that leadership advice, and I'm excited to tell you about them very soon. But then there's the other type of category. And I think that if you're going to do this, because I know some of you are, and I can't stop you, if you're going to start YOLOing into memes on Soul, on whatever it might be, you've got to be using Photon, okay? Don't just randomly buy memes on Pump Fun. You got to use great tools. And for me, obviously, I get to be in a lot of these chats, so I'm getting sent tickers all the time trying to buy stuff that the chat's talking about. I don't have time to sit on this all day. The people that I know are crushing it are sitting on the trending page of Photon and they're finding winners here on the trending page of Photon. They're constantly looking at the meme scope, the trending page. Obviously, new pairs, I would stay away from that because it's just too risky. But this trending page of Photon is where you have all of these tools that once you set up your Photon properly, which will have an expert in Photon coming on to tell you how they do it. Someone who I've seen trade some massive massive gains recently. The point is, if you're going to be doing the new meme thing, okay, I'm never going to cover those here on the channel. I can't cover those to 700,000 people or a few million, which is where the audience is going to go very, very soon. But if you're going to do that, you need to have the best tool set. Definitely my personal recommendation is Photon, not sponsored. I'm just a really big fan of their tech. You can sign up. It's totally free. Link in the description. This tool is the one if you want to trade the new meme lotto tickets, just know you're throwing money into the pond. You're wishing upon a star. Maybe just maybe it goes somewhere, but it's rare. It's very rare. So don't put a lot of money into any of these. Put like little bits, little, little tiny bit. You want to spread out hundreds of bets so that if one takes off, you now have a cook and you can start rolling with that money. Just understand if you're raw dogging the meme stuff, you're going to get cooked. You're going to get absolutely crushed. So we're going to bring on a Photon expert because their tool set is way above and beyond. When I use Photon, as soon as I buy a meme, I'll set a sell in case the thing pumps up a bit and then it'll automatically get back what I put into it just because I don't want to constantly lose tons of money. Most memes will have a little bit of pump, uh, even if they eventually dump. That way I'm just de-risking everything. And so again, it's okay to be multiple types of trader. I know people see themselves as meme coin only or utility only or Bitcoin only. I think having a sense that you have a spectrum of risk and reward, Bitcoin being the lowest risk, lowest reward, meme coins, new meme coin launches being the highest risk, highest reward, 
reward, utility, mid cap gems in the middle there with a middle level of risk for crypto. And then you have for me, a massive amount of reward there where sizing into these proven coins, these culty coins to me is the thing that makes sense. But I'm personally gonna be experimenting, getting into the trenches a bit, trying to find those flips and then rotating those into my favorite cult coins, my favorite mid cap gems to get more exposure to the things that I'm sure will be a part of the cycle. That's a strategy that I'll be doing once we break this all time high convincingly here. As you can see, we literally want it. We want it so bad. We're at 73, 72, four, wherever we're at, we're literally playing with destiny. And once we break through this, it's going to get real crazy real fast. Now, I will say Neo Tokyo is having its fifth hand of the citadel which is the rarest and coolest nfts it's totally free but you have to solve some riddles this is the beginning of neo tokyo again the strongest inner circle gaming community i don't talk about it a lot here on the channel because it's very expensive to get in so this is a way you could get one of the best assets in neo tokyo for free you just have to go to neotokyo.codes make sure you register and play this game because in my opinion if you want to be on the forefront of gaming neo tokyo is the best gaming community it's just very expensive to get in there super is like the people's coin for everyone. Neo Tokyo is the exclusive members club. And this opportunity doesn't come around very often. So check this out. It's an amazing, amazing chance to get into Neo Tokyo. Totally free. All it takes is your time and effort. Check it out. Well, there you have it. Right now is the time of max opportunity. We could be looking at adding a fourth archetype to the crypto traders in our world, the retail tech buyer. In my opinion, those will fuse into the utility sectors. AI, gaming, and probably real world assets will be the three main utility sectors that are in addition to like those layer one blockchains like Solana or whatever it might be. I personally think there's going to be way more upside in the AI gaming and RWA categories. That's why I'm way more focused on them with my portfolio. You guys know that about me by now, but I believe also that we need to look within those categories for the community focused projects within the utility narrative. That's something that is a new lens that I'm going to be applying to everything because those coins will most likely dramatically, dramatically outperform. And I'm here to help you do that. That's my goal is to help you do that. Again, make sure to get your comment in under this post. It's on my Twitter, x.com slash LEO Trades. Make sure to make your voice known. If you're a passionate LEO Trades community member, make your voice known here. I want to know you. I want to get familiar with you guys. Once the mania hits and there's probably a new 100, 200, 300,000 new followers on this channel, it's just going to become really, really noisy. And I personally might struggle to keep up. So make sure to get your voice out now before the masses come. I want to know my OGs. I want to know the people who have been rocking with me for the last four years. And I want to hopefully build a sort of hive mind here that will hopefully be a massive value to you guys, but also be a really cool way for us to interact. So make sure to get your comment in and you may just very well get a DM from me personally. All right, that's it. Follow, subscribe. Just so you know, there's going to be a lot, lot more content coming out. If you enjoy it, share it with your friends and I'll see you soon on the next one.